It's been so long since I've made a dang video and it shouldn't have taken me so long because this one is all about the cart and what is on it and what's going on with the plumbing situation. Um, so yeah, I am currently working on writing up a PDF for the cart to give to people who are interested in building their own and I'll have that ready within a week or so. It'll just be a PDF available for purchase. I want to talk for a second about permitting. I have a permanent food vendors permit. Call your health department to see what you'll need for whatever you're interested in doing. I knew I was interested in public sales, farmers markets, and private parties. So I have um, a permanent food vendors permit, which required a hand washing sink and a hot water heater. So if you are doing something simpler, like a temporary food vendors permit for like farmers markets, you might not need your hand washing sink. So this is gonna be like the most complicated one to get. All right, I'll show you. Okay, so I'm down here on the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the plumbing. So this is my main cart with my espresso machine and my fresh water and my pump and my filter. So I wanted to first start by sharing some resources. Um, I got my espresso machine from Clive Coffee. It was great because they sent me a whole kit with the fittings I needed, the tubing, the um, pump I ordered from them also, and then they have some videos online about how to get your machine up and running and maintenance of your machine. So I highly recommend Clive Coffee. Their customer service is also super good. Yeah, cafeworks.com is also a huge resource for mobile espresso units. Terry from Cafe Works knows everything. He's been in the business for so long for mobile espresso. He helped develop this FlowJet pump. So he's your guy if you have questions about mobile espresso plumbing. Um, he offers consultation calls, 30 minute consultations. So Terry helped me out a lot with this and I wish I had found him sooner before I do that. Here's something major that took me forever to learn. Plumbers don't know this. I called plumbers, okay? Home Depot doesn't know this. The people at Home Depot don't know this. This is your John Guest 3 8 tubing. This is what will come in your kit from um, Clive Coffee. This connects your pump right here, see? This connects the pump to the machine. If you need to add a sink or a pitcher rinser, you're gonna need to find a way to connect John Guest, which is one brand of tubing, to PEX. And they're both push to connect plumbing. See all these connections? These are all push to connect, which is super easy. Here is the key, okay. Quarter inch PEX flexible tubing, NSF. Um, this is the tubing you'll get at Home Depot. This is the same size as John Guest 3 8 Okay, so each brand has their own sizing and like it can be really confusing and frustrating. John Guest 3 8 is the same size as PEX quarter inch. At Home Depot, they'll tell you these brands cannot work together. It's not possible. It's possible. It's possible, guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's my main cart with my espresso machine, grinder, knockbox. This is my hand washing sink that I added separately once I realized I wouldn't have space on here for hand washing sink. This has my pitcher rinser, hand washing sink, and hot water heater. I think this hot water heater is two gallons, which makes this really heavy. This is my gray water tank, uh, Walmart, and it's perfect because the plumbing, the flexible um, PVC that I have coming from my sink fits perfectly into here. And that is important because the health district cares about how much space is between your PVC pipe and your waste tank. Okay. So we'll come back over here to the fresh water. Fresh water, flow jet. Um, this is enough pressure to get to your espresso machine. If you add a sink or a pitcher rinser, you'll need an accumulator tank. That's gonna add extra downline pressure to get your water all the way to your sink and pitcher rinser. So I have my accumulator here. This is from Cafe Works. And this connects to my filter, which I got from Clive Coffee. All this is from Clive right here. This is a quick release valve. This is amazing. It makes it for uh, super easy to move my espresso machine around. So I can disconnect this 
really easily without water spraying everywhere. So this quick release valve is from Cafe Works. Okay, so my fresh water tees off from the filter, goes straight to my espresso machine. Okay. This adapter right here is super important. This is from, this comes with your machine from Clive Coffee. Okay, then it tees off and I have fresh water going to my second So my second cart takes water from that tee. Here's the water. The water line then tees off two times. One time it goes to the cold water for the hand washing sink. The second tee off goes to my pitcher rinser. Okay, the pitcher rinser has gray water coming out and going here. This is a PVC connector. This is actually for like a um, dishwasher but it's perfect because the PEX fitting goes perfectly in there. And yeah, again, the health district cares about this space here and this is pretty much a perfect fit. I just shoved this PEX line like far enough down that the gray water doesn't splash. Okay, and then I have the line continuing on to go into my hot water tank. And then this has a cable coming out of the side. So this is the electrical for the hot water heater. And then this goes to my hand washing sink. Oops. Um, one thing that I do is that if I'm at an event that I don't think I'll need my hot water heater is I just won't plug this in. So I'll still bring it and then I can still use my hand washing sink but I don't have hot water. Okay, and then here's my gray tank. And again, this is, um, they the depending on your county, like the health district cares which what you're using for gray water okay so then for um electrical i have this like wind up thing i found at home depot and this is great because um you can plug everything in this is the last one for my hot water heater um if i could do it over again i would probably get a more heavy duty um extension cord because i don't think this has like the circuitry or like the the capability to actually handle all the power I have going to it. Um, this is my grinder, espresso machine, pump, and then yeah, also space for this. Okay, that's okay, it. One part that I forgot to mention was power. Um, all of my equipment is um, able to just plug into your standard outlet. My machine is 110 uh, whatever's watts so it can just plug into like a standard wall outlet which is huge so that's why I recommend that machine um, for mobile events like farmers markets I use a generator which was like one of the biggest pieces of equipment and I can't believe I forgot to mention it earlier but I use the 3500 predator from Harbor Freight right here and that's enough power to get everything going the biggest hurdle is getting things warmed up. So like the hot water heater and the espresso machine use a lot of power to get warmed up, but once they're warm, they don't really use much power. Okay, so that's it for this video. Super short and sweet. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me. You can email me, we can even set up a phone call and I'll have that PDF done hopefully soon with all this information on it so you can have um, a visual to take to Home Depot with you when you're looking for all these parts. Okay, see you next time.